and welcome to the Soul Me News update. Today is Monday, December 10th, 2007. The year of our Lord, 2007. Thank you very much. You can only say that for just a little bit longer, right? Well, I mean, it's every, every year is really the year of our Lord. Fantastic. The 2007 part, though. We've only got a few weeks yeah. to go. Yeah, not too much more of this year left. So. Right. Anyway, let's get right into it. Uh, this weekend we went to Grandma Party, which we were very excited about. Um, I've got a video on the way. I think possibly tomorrow it'll be done. I don't know. I hope so. I'll be on him, you know, <laughs> cracking the whip, trying to get it done. It looks like it's going to be really good, though. Yeah, so far so good. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer because of all this other stuff. But um, I got the last one out, uh, what, a couple months? What, April was the last one? Last grandma party? I think so. Yeah, I did it like in a day, which was amazing. So I was really happy with myself. And this one's <laughs> taking like two days, so it's not as amazing. Way <laughs> not to, as impressive. No. Way to compliment yourself, though, uh, about the last one. Guess who we If saw? I don't do it, who will? So. <laughs> True. Just saying. Uh, moving on. Megan, did you want to talk about your plan for the homeless and uh, slash Solmi marketing? <laughs> well, when you put it like that, it makes it sound bad. Um, I think you made it. Well, no, go ahead, please. I'm a little... Okay, I'm fine. Try not to judge. Um, mm -hmm. I had a suggestion earlier this week because, you know, we're trying to get people to watch our podcast more. Um, and I care about the homeless and I want to see them mm -hmm. comfortably clothed and, you know, in good condition. Right. So right. Um, I was thinking that maybe I could invest in getting like a hundred or so American Apparel t-shirts printed up, you know, with, with some kind of slogan that's like relevant to the homeless, like, I am not invisible, or I don't know, we'll, we'll take suggestions, maybe we can do that in a poll, which we'll talk about later. Um, but anyways, just, just maybe ever so slightly <laughs> on the back somewhere, we could have something like, you know, for more information, uh, visit soulmate.net. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. They get a free t-shirt. Right. And we get marketing. Yeah, I don't know what the, the ethical <laughs> implications are of doing that. And I, I really don't know the, um, the legal uh, ramifications of doing something like that. Like, I, don't, I know it's okay to say hey to the homeless, but you're not allowed to feed them. But people feed them but food, not do. bombs. I'd yeah, like but the one guy got arrested. And then so. we could tie it all together. Yeah, if you know if anybody with, with uh, food, not bombs and... Uh, we would like to do a little piece on them. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Yeah, because so. we support that. Yeah, we, we support food and not bombs. <laughs> so that just kind of works in with Even our though, I mean, that's it's kind of hard because we are the bomb. It's a, it's not it's not um, hypocritical, though, you yeah. know? It walks that fine line <laughs> that we dare to walk here at Solmi. Mm -hmm. That's right. Proudly. Um, so I mentioned a minute ago that we were talking about instituting polls on the Solmi website. Brian, if you want to take it away, I think it was I, your idea. I, yeah, I had an idea. Maybe we could have, you know, polls on the website every so often, you know, try to gauge where our audience is at. Um, there's been some debate <laughs> over what our first poll question should be. Uh -huh. Yeah. So my original first poll question, I think, was, do you think we should have a poll uh, on Solmi? Yeah. And now uh, I think the debate Terrible idea. has produced, uh, maybe th the question will probably be, I think, is it a good idea for our first poll question to be, should we have a poll question yeah. on, on Solmi? Solmi. So uh, if you want to go ahead and vote on that, check out the website. We'll have it up for at least a week. Yeah, if you're getting this on iTunes, go to Solmi.net. It'll be up there for a week. If you're on our website, you've probably already seen it and wondered what it was. So uh, please vote on whether or not our first poll question should be about whether or not we should have a poll. And uh, we would really appreciate it. I'd like um, to know that. Yeah, we'd like your input on that. So thank you in advance. Terrible right. idea. Terrible idea. It's a great <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> moving on, Jason and I spent a lot of time this week. I, we both kind of work from home right now. So um, we spent a lot of time this week hanging out at Urban Think Bookstore over in Thornton Park. And for some reason, I would like never heard of this place, even though we've lived in Orlando for almost five years. Um, so we were really thrilled to find it. It's a very cool little bookshop with um, an infusion tea inside, which is just like a little coffee shop area. But they order whatever books you want, and they have book signings by local authors and all kinds of great events. Mm -hmm. 
Jason's actually putting together a video of one of the events. Right, I just shot uh, over the weekend, I shot some stuff for them and uh, you can see some of the footage at the end of this show. Um, just real quick, you know, what I did and hopefully we'll have a full length episode or something about them soon. So look forward to that. Um, I'm excited. Rick? Oh yeah, uh, we also met Rick there. Uh, Rick helped out on Banks' shoot that I was a part of a couple weeks ago and we just want to say hey to Rick. Hey Rick. Uh, Rick thanks for hanging Meta. out. Meta? He's another Meta? filmmaker Meta. Yes. that we just met. And it's hard to find them sometimes in the Orlando area. So yeah. that was neat. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll see more of his stuff coming down the line. Good stuff. Uh, you want to talk about Shadow of the Colossus? I've been uh, playing after I beat <laughs> Bioshock. Um, Megan, you know, didn't really yeah. fill me in, but I guess she let her little brother borrow skate, so trying to find another game to play the other night. And so I hooked up the PS2 and I started playing Shadow of the Colossus. Awesome game. You like it? Awesome. See, it was a good thing that Skate wasn't around. It was a crutch. It was holding you down, mm. keeping you from trying new games. Well, I mean, I've played, I've played most of it before, but I haven't beaten it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's an awesome game. You just go around and fight huge, like, 20-story beings for no reason other than that you want to make out with your girlfriend again. I yeah, it, well, there's a you dead can... girlfriend. Girlfriend or sister? It, or cousin. Or cousin, we don't know. And then it's basically the um, the field parts from uh, Ocarina, or Ocarina of Time, um, Zelda game. Mm -hmm. And uh, all any boss battle you've ever fought in any game. That's Pretty the entire awesome. game. Yeah, it's awesome. So <laughs> there's no like minions you fight, no puzzles really. A little bit of it's puzzle. It's kind of puzzle. But... You gotta figure out how to like defeat the the yeah, and that's pretty stuff. good. That's pretty good it, stuff. It, it's impressive for um, a PS2 game graphically, and uh, the boss or the you know the Colossus Colossi battles, the Colossi <laughs> battles are very impressive. Yeah, almost as impressive as my speech speaking ability. <laughs> as is wow there. Speaking of speaking. <laughs> Brian uh, uh, recently updated the library section of our website. Yes, I did. And if you haven't read it yet, why not? Yeah, geez, what's your problem, man? I mean, you're supposed to be checking the, the website every day. Yeah, if you're not supposed every hour. to be. And, you know, you're supposed to have the RSS feed, you know, hooked up there. Uh, Google Reader is free. There's no excuse. So, yeah, you should be getting your feeds from Solmi, and you should be checking every single day in case you, didn't, in case you missed something, you know? Don't so what's that. your problem? Seriously, I don't know. Okay, I didn't um, bring this up so we could yell at people. Uh, I'm just saying, it's, a little, just it's saying, a little disappointing. We don't even know that they haven't read it. Well, I think... You know, I, well, no one's commented. No, I, did I comment? No. You guys haven't even commented. I, I was going to. I was totally going <laughs> uh -huh. to. Yeah. And I had this thing I had to do. I, I'm just saying, I'd comment on your I, stuff if well, you had it on there. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. On that note... Um, Christmas probably... is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you want to buy us some stuff? Because I need some stuff. Um, what do you need? Uh, I, I, I need a matte box. I need a, a 35 millimeter adapter. I need a, a proper light kit instead of these Home Depot, which are fine. It's just, you know. Yesterday, I took Solmi out to dinner, and I also <laughs> bought Jason a wireless keyboard and bought myself an iPhone. So the only one who I've left, left to do shopping for is Brian. Yeah, well, he's, I'll take whatever. Yeah, he's just... <laughs> Ten bucks, Scraps. just leave it under my door or something. <laughs> <laughs> we All got right. you that subscription to that catalog. I know, I appreciate it. We don't have to talk about well, it. Well, okay. Uh, okay. It's, it's a catalog that uh, Brian likes. Goods. It's, it's running uh, out of time. Special okay. clothing for special guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're about out of time. And so well endowed. Yeah, okay. We will see you next week on another exciting update. Hooray. Yay. Uh, Yay. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.